Hey everybody, this is FHRC Brony, Ready Control and Cars, and today, uh, you haven't seen a single video in a while of my Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. Um, I've been busy working on my Nitro Rustler and working on Project Stamped Haas, which is my Haas uh, body on a Stampede two-wheel drive platform chassis thing. So yeah. Um, I just recently installed the onboard audio, reinstalled the onboard audio, but one of the stock speakers were broken. So yeah, this thing's flopping around, but it's gonna be hooked up to my uh, Ford Raptor body. So yeah, today in this video, I'm gonna be replacing a servo. Well, I'm going to be installing a servo because I already took out the old servo already. I'm gonna be installing this uh, digital servo that I bought from Amazon for like 15, 16 bucks, I believe. Uh, it's pretty cheap, but it does have a, it does have uh, metal gears in it. And in fact, my, pardon that, my uh, rustler up there uses this same exact servo. Actually, this it uses this, this exact same servo, and is working out pretty fine. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with my Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. Now this one's a low center of gravity converted slash. So the procedure is gonna be a little bit different than if you had the stock high center of gravity chassis. But if you guys own the Rust, uh, Traxxas Rustler or Bandit, the method's going to be very similar because they're both low center of gravity chassis and the servo hooks up on the side like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this this little uh, repair. As I said before, um, I'm doing this on the floor because I don't have enough room on my on my desk. And plus, this is a big truck out of my out of all the RCs I've owned, uh, aside from my TRX4. So I'm gonna be doing here on the floor where I have enough room to do so. Um, uh, this is how I'm gonna. I'm also watching a YouTube video too, so. I'm going to uh, unscrew uh, these two bolts over here that you uh, that you see over here. Those two bolts, and then on the bottom, uh, there are uh, a, there's a bolt over here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bolt right there that I need to take out. Normally there's like three here, but I only have one in there, so I'm gonna go take those off. So off I go. Okay, so um, I got this, so I got this removed, um, partially because it's still linked, hooked up to the steering rack, uh, and there's some people outside revving their engines. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I did not take this whole unit out because I got the steering rack still assembled, and I don't really need to do that to take the steering rack out because all I need to do, since the Whoops, there goes the speaker. Well, since the servo mount is right there, I can just hook it up there. So I should be okay, and I'll... Okay. I should disconnect that, but I kind of direct connection, did a direct connection to it by soldering the, soldering the speaker without using the connector. Because I thought I lost it, but no, I didn't. Okay. So, uh, I got like four holes in here, so I can just fit the servo. Um, it's a little bit of a tight fit because this one is slightly slanted compared to the stock 2075 or 2056 uh, servo, which is straight. But I think, eh, actually that can fit just fine. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and install that with some self-tapping screws. So I'll do that, uh, I'll fast forward this. You can put all four screws in there, but I chose not to do it because even with two screws that are hooked up diagon diagonally from each other, yeah, this should do fine. But um, I'm not that OCD to put three or four in there I, I should be okay so this thing's not going anywhere so 
I also want to keep in mind that the lead, there's a little hole in here. You just put it inside and it comes on top of the chassis like so. And then that's where you can put it onto your receiver. Um, what I'm gonna do first is uh, I'm gonna hook this up onto my receiver and I will um, center it with using my controller. Okay, I'm almost done. The servo is now installed. I'll cover the receiver box in a bit, but uh, the servo is not connected to the steering rack just yet, so this thing is still flopping around. But uh, I'm going to connect uh, this linkage over here, this tie rod, onto the onto here, so I will be able to turn it. So I'll do that off. On time, fast forward. Okay, so um, I forgot to put the battery cover on, but you know, I'm not driving this thing. But, um, you know, I have steering again on the tracks of Slash. Okay, so that's me replacing my servo uh, on my Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. And like I said, this is the low center of gravity version, which I converted back in 2016. Um, this method is going to be different than if it was a standard high center of gravity chassis. But uh, if you guys own a Traxxas Rustler or a Bandit, this uh, will be easier for you guys because the layout for the LCG Slash is pretty similar to the Rustler and the Bandit. So, hope you guys enjoyed.